tonight. Our opening tip coming up here and brought to you by Meyer. Experience the savings. Experience the difference. Meyer. Tom O'Neill tosses it up between Justin Gant and Reggie Lynch. And the tap controlled easily by Reggie. Nearly tapped it out of bounds. Zeisloff got there before it went out of play. And the Redbirds with the very first possession of the contest. As across the timeline is Reggie Lynch. Here's the handoff to Paris Lee. Lee moves it back out to Knight. Knight penetrates. Jump stop and a pass out to Nick. A long three is good. Seisloft puts the birds on top. Three to nothing. That about a 24-footer. Now the birds full court pressure. Christian Smith at three-quarter court. Jump pass ahead. Arop gets it. Goes to the goal. Lays it up. Rolls it. Good. It bounced about four times on the rim and then went through. And so it's three to two, Illinois State. And into the front court is Paris Lee, the freshman from Maywood, Illinois. Moves it to Deshaun Knight. Turnaround 17-footer. Yes, Birds have made their first two shots. They're up 5-2 to two here on Indiana State. That allows them to set up the full court defense. Odom double teamed in the backcourt. Hooks the pass ahead. Dewan Cummings gets it across. Moves it to the wing. And now back out from A-Rop to Cummings. You know, Dick, watching Jay Odom, I don't think he's 100%. He's kind of gimpy. I read that plantar fasciitis the last couple years. He's a little gimpy tonight. Down low it goes. Here's A-Rop at the right baseline. He's been bothered by that injury for the yeah. past couple of years now. I thought it was better this year. But I think it is, but he plays a lot of minutes. Christian Smith, 16-footer. Good. So, first four shots of this game have gone down. Two for each team. It's a 5-4 Illinois State lead. Indiana State picking up shooting-wise from where it left off in Terre Haute. Yeah, and they've been in a shooting slump, they say, the last three or four games. But, boy, they've started quick tonight. They did not shoot it well in their game at Missouri State on Saturday. Here's the pass to Knight. Jumps it up there and gets it again. And that's a three for Deshaun Knight. And it's 8-4. to four. Redbirds with the lead. Knight has made his first two. And collectively, these teams are 5-for-5 five five from the field. And now a foul on Bobby Hunter. As Odom spun into him right when Hunter trapped Jake Odom. Yeah, get, kind of watch if you get a chance. Kind of watch Odom. He is. Yeah, he's limping he as he walks into gimpy, the front court. He? Yeah. Good observation, Mike. As the Sycamores inbounded after the first foul of the game and have it in the front court. Here's the high post pass. Gant turn around 16-footer and it rolls. Good. It bounced on the rim three times and went through. These teams have made their first six shots collectively. <laughs> Eight to six Redbirds lead thanks to two of their shots being from three. Here's Knight penetrating to the corner. Hunter a three. It's good. Wow. Redbirds are up 11 to six. Seven for seven from the field. And yeah, whoever invented this game made the ball too small and the basket's too big. <laughs> Cummings to the goal. Inside Gant. Bobbled it. Gets it. Gets it blocked by Lynch. And a rebound off the block taken by Deshaun Knight. Yeah, so there's he, the he, first miss. And Reggie didn't even leave the floor to block that. Knight with it out to Hunter. At the wing. Here's Paris Lee. In the corner. Hunter baseline drive. Finds Reggie who gets the ball and lays it up and scores. And the Redbird lead is 13 to 6. And Illinois State has made 5 of 5 from the field. Christian Smith to Jake Odom. And Odom across the timeline. A-Rop on the right wing. Swings it left side. Dewan Cummings penetrates a bit. Picks up his dribble and goes to A-Rop. A-Rop down low. And Gant will have to put it back out to Odom for three. And it's no good. And the rebound for them. Up is Gant. And he missed the layup. But the rebound again for the Sycamores as Smith gets it back outside. Odom now to the right side. Wide open three. And A-Rop missed it. And the rebound will inch. Sycamores missed three times on that trip down the floor. Tripling the total number of misses for both teams in this game. Here's Lynch inside, turning, shooting, and rolls it good. Redbirds six for six from the field. They lead 15 to six over the number two team in the Valley. Yeah, if we keep shooting it like this, Dick, we're going to be tough to beat. <laughs> six out of six. Been a long time since we started a game that well. And they've only taken four minutes to get those shots away. Here's Odom turning in trouble. Gets it outside to Cummings. Now down to the baseline again and back out. And a three is on the way. And A-Rop missed it again. Weak side rebound for Knight. Birds the other way. Here's Deshaun. Fires the three. And there's the first miss. I guess Deshaun thought nobody was going to miss. And so he thought might as well fire up that shot even though it was not a high percentage one. Inside Smith. Reverse layup. Good. And so the Redbird run stopped there as the Sycamores are back to within seven at 15 to eight. 
Birds had scored seven straight before that miss by Knight and then the reverse layup by Christian Smith. Knight in the front court on the right side. Moves across the top of the circle and throws it away just as Bobby Hunter cut to the basket. Knight threw him the ball and a turnover against the Redbirds. That's their first. Four, Dick, six of seven. Indiana State, not bad either. Four of nine, but how about this? Five assists for Illinois State in their first six baskets. That's more assists. No, they had eight assists in Terre Haute, but boy, off to a quick start with the assists. He's 14 of those. Oh, and so five through five minutes. So uh, that's. I like pretty it. good ratio. Yeah, I'd probably get the 14 at that rate. <laughs> I'd have that by half. Zach Lofton into the game for the Redbirds, and Lucas Idle has checked in for Indiana State. He has the ball now. Pass is intercepted by Nick Zeisloft. Birds the other way. Here's Hunter. Kicks it to Lee for three, and it's no good. Harris knocked down. He was fouled against Indiana State, and the Birds will go to the line. I believe Paris will get three free throws. Indiana State Devontae Brown, who also just checked into the game, is the one who committed the foul. First against the Sycamores, and to the line goes Paris Lee with a chance to expand Illinois State's seven-point advantage. The lefty misses the first one short. He's a 71 percenter on the year. One more for Paris, or two more, excuse me, for Paris Lee. He gets the next one. You know, I know Paris was a good high school player, Dick, coming out of that storied program at Proviso East, but boy, he's he's been better this year than I really expected. Been a big factor for the Birds as a true freshman. He and Reggie Lynch and Tony Wills, all true freshmen. And speaking of Wills, he checks in after another make by Lee, which makes it 17 to 8 Redbirds. Kind of like ISU football. They started a freshman quarterback. We're starting a freshman point guard. It's good for the years to come, but a very tough spot for a freshman to take over. Idle on the left wing for Indiana State. Devontae Brown around to Christian Smith. Now here it comes inside, and Kitchell lays it up and scores and count the basket. Jamal Samuel had also checked in for the Birds, as had Jake Kitchell, and Kitchell with that basket fouled by Samuel, 17 to 10. Now the Redbird lead back to seven, and Kitchell at the stripe. Well, the official indicated that Samuel hit him in the side of the head. 56% free thrower misses that one rebound, Bobby Hunter. Redbirds still up seven, come the other way. And across the timeline is Paris Lee. Left side Lofton, who hands it back to Paris. Lee swings it to Lofton for three. It's good! Lofton starts with a three at the top. It's 20 to 10. Redbirds with their biggest lead of 10 points. That's a good start. I like the way he caught that in rhythm. Run up, nailed it. Got rid of it in a hurry. Boy, he did. Christian Smith in the right corner. Out to Idle. Idle back to Smith. Baseline drive. A runner. Good. Well, he's got, a good player. Whew. He got by Lofton. Wills came over to help, but couldn't get there in time. 20 to 12 after the basket by Christian Smith out of Indianapolis. Used to play against Tony Wills in high school. Lofton with it now. Moves to the right. Finds Paris Lee. Paris looks it over. Comes to the left, up top to Bobby Hunter. Hunter to the goal, kicks it off to Samuel. Baseline jumper, no, and the rebound, Lucas Idle for Indiana State. Samuel missed about a 10-footer there. Devontae Brown, jump pass Odom, back out Idle. Here's Brown up top, they move it quickly. Right wing three is an air ball, and on the rebound, a whistle. Christian Smith missed everything, but the Redbirds committing a foul, trying to rebound the miss. It's on Bobby Hunter, and that's two on him, which will get him to the bench. Maybe Deshaun Knight ready to check in for him anyway, so that's unfortunate as Reggie Lynch also checks back into the game, and out goes uh, Samuel. Well, he had to foul on that backside. He was on the weak side. When you got a 5'9 guard on the weak side, that makes it tough. a -Rop back into the game. Jake Odom sits down. As the Sycamores put it in play after the Redbird foul. Here it goes into the corner. Devontae Brown. And now Dewan Cummings, who also just got back into the contest. Here's Idle for three. Good shooter. Missed it long. Long rebound to Deshaun Knight on the weak side. Deshaun the other way. Redbirds up 20 to 12 with the ball. Paris Lee finds Lofton. Zach attacks, goes to Wills, baseline drive, kicks it off to Knight in the left corner, a running pass back to Wills in the right corner. Now it comes out to Lofton. He fires the three, and it's good! Lofton has made two threes in a row. And the Redbirds up 23-12. to 12. 
He looks pretty comfortable shooting the ball. Brown to idle, up top to Devontae Brown. Maybe that wavering confidence of his is here to stay. And the shot from the deep right corner missed by Cummings, but the rebound to Indiana State, and Brown now gets fouled from behind. And the Sycamores starting to pile up some offensive rebounds as the Redbirds commit their fourth foul. Wills picks up his first. Yeah, they're really taking advantage of Illinois State on the weak side with our undersized guys down there, and they're going to have to get better position and battle a little bit harder because they're really outsized. Hunter back in with two fouls. That's an interesting substitution as in for Indiana State for the first time is Demetrius Moore, the junior out of Paxton, Indiana. Sycamores have put it in play. Here's Brown to Cummings. Right side it goes. a -Rop out to Brown. Deals it to Idle in the corner. Cummings, a shot fake and a drive, and he tried to dunk it, and he missed it, and the ball caroms off the rim and goes over the backboard, and it belongs to the Redbirds. Wow, that was explosive. It would have been spectacular, but I think Coach Lansing would have preferred that he just lay it off the glass. Well, I think if he would have, Reggie would have thrown it out of there. I think he really attacked the only way he thought he could be successful, so... Kudos to the kid for giving it a shot because I think Reggie would have blocked any other attempt. Kaza Keen across the timeline. Kaza just into the game for the Redbirds. Here's Knight faking the three. And now he comes to the top of the circle with a dribble. Right side Lofton. A shot fake. Now he pulls up. Fires and gets another one. Lofton three for three from the field. And the Redbirds are up 25 to 12. Zach Lofton has scored a career high 24 at Northern Iowa. Already has eight in this game. Just eight minutes in. Bad shot. Good result. Yeah, I didn't like the shot either. <laughs> Devontae Brown to the right. Picks up his dribble and finds idle. Now Manny Arop with it. A-Rop to Idle, up top. A-Rop gets it back. Here's the drive by Brown inside. Shovels to Moore. Layup blocked by either Wills or Reggie. I think it was Will uh, Reggie. Reggie gets his second block of the game. Ball knocked out of bounds. Illinois State is scoring 25 points, Dick, in the first eight and a half minutes. And Indiana State only gives up 64 games, so something's got to give here in the next 31 minutes. As Kaza Keen is across the timeline. Lynch and Zeisloft, who has the ball now. Knight, who gets it from Zeisloft and misses a baseline jumper that's tracked down in the corner by Devontae Brown, but a 12-footer there for Knight. The other guy on the floor for the Redbirds is Zach Lofton. Here's Odom with it for Indiana State. a -Rop in the corner to Justin Gant, who's back in after the timeout. Odom dribbles the ball and finds Manny a -Rop, the transfer from Gonzaga. Up top, Cummings left of the lane. Cut off by Keene. Ten to shoot. Here's Brown. Jump stop and a shot blocked by Reggie. That's three of them for him. And the ball taken by Lofton. Here's Keene. Layup. Keza. Yes. Redbirds up. 27 to 12. Great pass by Zach Lofton. Who's having another great game. What a nice strong take by Keza Keene. Here's the shot by Brown. Blocked by Reggie. Oh, my goodness. That's four for the game. He's within one of Patrick O'Brien's freshman mark at Bradley. Knight now a baseline drive underneath the basket. Reverse layup. Good. Redbirds up 49 to 12. And the fun continues. And Greg Lansing wants to stop it. And so he does by spending a timeout. 30-second timeout brought to you by O'Brien Mitsubishi. Visit today. It's great, Dick. You know, well, he's, he's, he's going to get... The biggest question is how many games are the birds going to play? Well, and Richie doesn't have any fouls yet, so it might be a good night for him. To get there tonight, you're saying. As Christian Smith against <laughs> Reggie Lynch loses it out of bounds. They say it's off. Yeah, bounce it off oh, Reggie's foot Reggie, out of bounds. Yep, yep, belongs to Indiana State. Should get a block for that? <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> We still, still don't know for sure if he's been given credit for four, but we think he probably has. Here's Odom, up top Cummings, right of the lane drive, and over Lynch, he gets it up and in. Good take to the goal by Dewan Cummings, 29-14, Redbird lead down to 15. And a good job by Reggie Lynch of avoiding a silly yes, foul. good point. Keza into Reggie, and he scores as he's fouled. What a night. For the man with the mask, Reggie Lynch, who's had trouble offensively because of that mask, which if you didn't know he's wearing because of the broken nose he sustained in the game at Bradley. But a month ago, Kitchell committed that foul. His first, Lynch has put the birds 
Back up 31 to 14 by 17. He can give the birds their largest lead if he cashes in the free throw as he fires it in. A nice finish by Lynch, but what a delicious delivery by Kazakin. 32 to 14. I'm pretty sure the score should be. Scoreboard says 32 to 16 as Indiana State has it in the front court. Am I wrong about that? Dewan Cummings out to Devontae Brown. Odom on the right side. Odom to Cummings. Down low. Here's Kitchell against Lynch. Gets it down lower. Cummings layup. No. Reggie gets the rebound. And the outlet to Paris Lee. Ahead to Keene. Back to Lee. Lee through the lane. Layup. Yes! Redbirds up 34. It should be 34 14. 14. That's right. Scoreboard is wrong. It's a 20 point Illinois State advantage. Brown, a jumper good off oh. the glass. From left of the free throw line, about 18 feet away. No way he can tell us he intended that. 34 16. Birds lead it here by 18. Knight on the left wing. Up to the top. Back to Keene. Through traffic. Finds Lee. His three. It's no good. Rebound, Indiana State. Cummings the other way. Ahead to Odom. Odom runs over Keene, and it's a block on Keza. I think before the shot, 15 foul on the Birds. Well, he had a 50-50 shot at getting that call right, Dick. Tom O'Neill makes the call. Dan Muller doesn't think much of it, and neither do a lot of the folks here at Redbird Arena. Odom will inbound it. 8.22 left in the half. They still have the scoreboard wrong. 34-16 it should be. I can't believe they're, uh, they're wrong for that long. But, but we're you know, quite confident they're wrong. Man, there's three or four guys over there with scorebooks. Well, they each have something to do and the one who's in charge of keeping track of the score has missed it. A lot of subs for both teams. We'll catch up on those later. Here's Dewan Cummings spinning back out to Odom. He finds Lucas Idle, one of those who came in for Indiana State. Now Cummings on the right wing. Brandon Burnett also in for the Sycamores. Idle gets it down low. Moore, the other one who checked in for them. Bad pass. Idle picked it off, or picking it off his night, but Idle took it right back. So the team's trade mistakes. Odom the other way for Indiana State through the lane, and he's going to be fouled by Jamal Samuel. That time it'll be on the shot. It'll get us two in officials' timeout. 7.53 left, and they finally goes. Jake Odom goes to the line here with now 7.53 left to play in the first half. Odom fires it home. Gets to the line an average of six and a half times a game. Incredible for a perimeter player. 78 percenter. Shoots them both through, and it's 38 or 34, 18. Last four now have been scored by Indiana State. Birds have Lofton in the game with Wills and Lynch and Lee and Knight. Deshaun across the timeline. And Indiana State showing a little 2-2-1 full court pressure, now falling back into a 2-3. So let's see how the Birds handle the zone. Wow, Indiana State playing zone. Did they play some of it against no, the Birds in Terre Haute? I don't believe so. Knight with it inside Lynch to the corner. It goes to Deshaun Knight. Now Lofton to Paris Lee. Seven to shoot inside Reggie. Tough catch. He turns. Four defenders around him, and one of them stripped the ball out of bounds. Still belongs to the Birds with two seconds to find a shot. Oh, Reggie's working hard down in the paint. That was a good catch in huge traffic. Lee needs to find somebody who can shoot it. Gets it out to Deshaun. He'll fire, and it's not good on the rebound, Indiana State. Dewan Cummings across the timeline. Here's Brandon Burnett up top to Cummings. Moore gets it outside. Jake Odom, who I think has played all the way so far. Yep, he's had a little stint on the pine, but moving a little bit better than he was early in the game. Inside Burnett, turnaround, 12-footer, good. And six points in a row scored by the Sycamores, who cut the one-time 20-point lead down to 14. Yeah, his time on the bench, Odoms, was very short. As Knight has it right side. How many minutes a game does he average? You have 32. That? 32. Lee looks into Reggie. Can't get it there. Dribbles up toward the top. Right of the lane drive. Spins it off to Deshaun. Under the basket. Finds Tony Wills. Fakes the three. Can to shoot. Zach a bomb. Good. 
Lofton, four for four. Three of those have been threes. That one was 26 feet away, and the record lead is 37 to 20. Uh, and that was nothing but nylon. Here's Cummings faking the three. Now throws it out to Odom. Down low and inside. More blocked by Reggie. That's five for Lynch for the game. They did credit him with that third one, so he has five for the game. And a turnover on the dribble oh. called against Deshaun Knight by Tom O'Neill. Well, I'll tell you what. You talk about a guy changing the tempo of a game and taking a crowd out of a game. Usually it's the other team that does it. Rarely is it a referee. But, he's made but was it the wrong call? Oh, I just... I mean, they you're, could call, you're not telling us it was the wrong call. Uh, they could call carrying every time on everybody. Why now? Jake Odom across right in the, the middle of a rally. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some people who are happy he stopped the rally. <laughs> or, seated over there on the other bench. Idle with it for Indiana State. Here's Cummings. Cross court Odom on the right wing. Picks it up and goes deeper into the wing area. Idle now gets it back to Odom. They're down to 10 to shoot. Here's Burnett inside. Jump hook. No. And on the rebound, a foul is called. And it's against the Birds. And it's Keza who picks it up. That'll put the Sycamores at the line because that's the seventh team foul against the Redbirds. So Jake Kitchell, who's not a good free thrower, 56 percenter, and who missed one earlier in the game, is back at the stripe. Sycamores are two for three from the line. Odom shot the other two. Devontae Brown back in. Idle sits down. Seisloff back in for Wills. Well, the Redbirds are six for nine from three. Seisloff has made one of them. Lofton's three for three. Hunter is one for one. So the free throw is good by Kitchell. And Deshaun Knight is one for three with Paris Lee missing his only attempt. So 37-21, Redbird lead is 16. Kitchell from Union Mills, Indiana, drains the other one as well. 15-point advantage for the Redbirds, who have not trailed in this game. Here's Zeisloft in the front court. 524 now left in the first half. Kaza Keen up at the top. Keen to Lee. Here's Nick with it. Back to Lee. Penetrates with the dribble. Kicks it out to Kaza Keen on the left side. 14 to shoot. Kaza to Lofton. Now Nick for three. That's no good. Little long. Tip out by Keen. And Indiana State gets it. Brown pass knocked by Zeisloft and stolen by Lofton. Great play by Nick. Here's Keen with it. It's a couple of times that Zeisloft has created the turnover. Not sure he'll get credit for that steal. Lofton might, although Nick should. Here's Lofton's three, and it is in and out. Not good. Follow Zeisloft, yes. So Lofton finally misses one, and Nick is there to clean it up. And the Redbirds by 17, 39 to 22. And Dick, those are your Main Street bar and grill hot points. The putback by Nick Zeisloft. Kitchell inside, Christian Smith, jumper rolls, not good as Lynch bothered the shot. He didn't get a piece of it, but he contested it and forced him to miss it. Ball knocked out of bounds by Indiana State, and the Birds with the possession, up 39-22. to Samuel back in, Lynch goes to the bench. What a great first half for Reggie. Has he ever played a first half without a foul? Maybe not. I don't believe so. Kaza Keen across the timeline. Or two. I'm th yeah, I'm thinking it's probably happened once, but I don't I don't remember it specifically. Here's Keen under the basket to Lofton, and Kaza stepped on the end line as he tried to make that move underneath the bucket. Turnover, Illinois State. Birds have now turned it over five times. And now the official is getting an earful from somebody on the baseline, and he's going to ask that that guy be dismissed from the game. How about that? Tom O'Neill, again, the guy who heard the earful. And the Sycamores put it in play. I don't think he was dismissed from the game, was he? Yeah, he's on his way out. His, he's, his night is over. He'll have to listen to the rest of the game on the radio. Lucky him. a rob <laughs> picks up his dribble. It's a lot better that's on a, the radio. That's a good reason it? not to get kicked out. <laughs> good point. Here's the pass out to Brown. On the left wing, Brandon Burnett back to Brown. Up top, Odom. Shot fake. Now Odom gives it up to the right wing. A-Rop's three is not good. And the rebound for Kazakin. 
And the Sycamores still scoreless from outside the arc. 0 for 7 now as Keene picks up his dribble. Finds Samuel outside Zeisloft. And now inside of three and a half minutes to go in the first half. And the Birds up 39 to 22. Lee with it. Harris moves it to Keene through the lane. A runner. No, it rims off. But a whistle and a foul against Indiana State. Jamal Samuel had pretty good rebounding position. And Brandon Burnett took him down. Well, he came down hard. But he's up quickly and looks as though he's out okay. total. Paris Lee inbounds it for the Birds. Zeisloff makes the catch. Here's Knight up top. Now in the corner. Paris Lee on the drive. Delivers it back to Deshaun Knight. And the Birds reset. Lofton still in there with Lynch. Zeisloff, Lee, and Knight the others. Here's Nick to Deshaun. Lob down low. Lynch, double team, turns, spins, shoots it, and gets it. Reggie has his fourth basket. Redbirds have a 19-point lead at 41-22. to Lynch now four out of five from the field. Odom, baseline drive, goes by Lynch, loses the ball, but it's rescued by them and then knocked out of bounds by Illinois State. Still belongs to the Sycamores. Reggie's just kind of lurking tonight. <laughs> He's kind of hovering down there in the lane, just letting somebody put one up or hoping somebody will try to get one up. Here's Cummings with it at the top of the circle. Dewan Cummings to Odom. Now Cummings moves inside, kicks it back out. Brown at the top, penetrates against Lynch, gets it down low, and a dunk by Justin Gant. Great pass. And the Sycamores slice the lead back to 17. 41-24 Redbirds down to two and a quarter to play here in the half. As Paris Lee has the ball up top. And Indiana State in a 2-3 zone. We've seen some zone from them here in this first half. Knight moving around his man, a runner. Deshaun threw it too far, rebounded by Indiana State. Devontae Brown comes the other way, finds Manny Arop back to Brown outside the arc. Inside Odom, pass anticipated by Zeisloff, who gets a piece of it, then is tied up. Boy, Nick is anticipating passes very well. He's stolen a couple, gets the ball there, but then gets tied up, and it is Indiana State's turn, so he won't get credit for a steal again there, but a great play. Yeah, it really was, but he misplayed the ball. Odom just threw a ta terrible pass, and Nick was right there, and he kind of bobbled it a little bit. It should have been a clean takeaway, but a good play nonetheless by Zeisloff. And the bobble allowed Indiana State to tie him up. Sycamores keep the ball, but that means the arrow moves in the other direction. And now the officials come to the scorer's table for something. And making sure the arrow is in the right spot. It is. And Indiana State, therefore, will put it in play. The shot clock not reset here because they had the possession before the tie-up. And the Birds... Didn't ever gain full possession of the ball is the ruling. So 23 seconds to shoot as Sycamores put it in play. 140 now left in the half. Arop with it. Steps back, fires. 18-footer is way off on the rebound. Zeisloff kept it alive. Lynch takes it. Here's Lofton in the front court. Zach moves it up high to Knight. And Deshaun now, with about a minute's difference between the clocks, has it on the right wing. Lee to Lofton, he fires, it's short, rebound, Reggie, back out to Lee, Deshaun Knight with it, Knight to Lee, back to Knight, penetrates, jump stop, and a whistle, and a foul against Indiana State, wow, I was waiting for the travel call I was there. too, I think it's Odom, it is Jake Odom, first on him only the fourth on the team birds put it in play now the difference between the clocks down to 34 seconds as lofton has it up high right wing lee up top to zach he fires and it's a little bit long bounces on the rim twice and comes off christian smith rebounds it indiana state the other way odom with it spins fades fires and rolls it good tough shot by odom just beyond the free throw line 16 footer cuts the lead to 15 now the difference between the clocks 11 seconds and what will the redbirds do in this situation i think they are going to let their shot clock run down 41 26 birds by 15 they've been up by as many as 20 here in a very well-played first half by the home team. Well, Illinois State's got their best shooting group on the floor, so I'd be surprised if we don't get a really a good look and a good shot. 
Knight with it, seven to shoot. Here's Lee. Lee into the lane, shoots it up there, and misses. Follow no by Lofton. Another one no by Reggie, and then Lynch gets fouled as he got it back again. Great work on the offensive glass by the Redbirds, and Reggie Lynch gets to the line. I think Reggie took a, schna- a shot in the schnoz. That's why he's wearing that mask. <laughs> oh, my. I wonder how much that hurts, even oh, with the mask. I imagine quite a bit. Lynch to the line, 9.6 seconds to go. As Reggie gets a pair, they say he was in a controlled shot as he shoots it through. He's made both of his free throws in this game. And how about Reggie's improvement at the line? He's up to 55% before the game. Up a little more after making two in a row so far in this one. I bet he's shot between 65 and 70% since he went to the mask. Yeah. Another one is not good. He misses that one. A-Rop rebounds it. 16-point lead for the Birds. Indiana State still with time. Odom with it. Right of the lane. Whips it back out. Shot fake. Cummings in time. Missed it at the buzzer. Great work by Indiana State to get the shot they wanted right at the buzzer, but they missed it. And the Redbirds go to the locker room up 42-26. to Redbirds, I think we mentioned it earlier, in their silver home uniforms with the red numbers and trim. Sycamore is in blue with white and navy. Or is it black? I think it's I have trouble telling navy from black. Don't people, look over here for help. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how, do, how do people do that? I have to ask my wife yeah. when I put my clothing on in the morning. Anyway, uh, we've digressed a little bit as the Redbirds have put the ball in play and the second half is underway. Well, why do you have on a navy blue setter with black pants? <laughs> Don't bring that up now. <laughs> Birds have thrown it away. Here's Odom to the goal, shovels it to his teammate who puts it up and in. Christian Smith gets the basket. And this half doesn't start too well. The Birds begin it with a turnover and then a Sycamore layup off the turnover and it's 42 to 20. Here's Deshaun Knight to Bobby Hunter. Hunter right side, Zeisloft, 4-3. That's good. Nick Zeisloft nails the three, his second of the game. Redbirds up 17, 45 to 28. And now Indiana State in the front court. Cummings outlets it to Arop. Outside Christian Smith, up top Odom. Odom looks it over, and now it goes down low. Driving to the goal and shooting at Arop. Not good. Zeisloft the rebound. Redbirds come the other way. Deshaun Knight with it. A-Rob fell down after missing the shot. Now catches up with the play, and he's in the front court. Hunter out to Lee inside Reggie. Reggie, double team, goes to the goal. Left-hand jump hook. Yes! Boy, that basket down there has been very forgiving. Indiana yep. State's made three or four that hung on the rim, and now Reggie took his turn. That one bounced about three times. Looked like it would fall off, and then it came back the other way, and the birds are up 19, 47 to 28, as Lynch now has a dozen at the other end. Gant misses a shot, gets his own rebound, then loses the ball. It's knocked out of play by the birds. Still belongs to the Sycamores, as Indiana State off the Redbird make. Got it down for a layup in a hurry. Yeah, and Reggie's controlling things in the middle. No blocks there, but... He is sure altering a lot of shots and causing a lot of quick shots by Indiana State in the paint. Sycamores have put it in play. Odom with it at the top. 19-point Redbird lead. Here's a three, and Brown gets it. Or, excuse me, that's Cummings. Dewan Cummings scores the goal from outside the arc. Their first three of the game, and it's 47-31. Hunter the other way. Missed the layup, but was knocked down to the floor and is a little slow in getting up. He took a pretty good shot there on the missed layup, and he'll go to the line for a couple of opportunities. Yeah, shaking that left wrist a little bit. I think Bobby was surprised that the lane opened up like it did. And, boy, he took advantage of it, as he often does. First foul of the second half, and to the line goes Bobby Hunter. Bobby Hunter! Odom called for the foul. His second as the throw is good by Bobby. 48-31. 48-31. Birds by 17. Jake Kitchell, who played quite a bit in the first half, is back in. Justin Gant sits down. Devontae Brown also checked in for Indiana State. Second free throw rolls good for Bobby Hunter. Kind of interesting. Odom out of the game early here in the second half. 
I don't think it's because of his second foul, but maybe that's part of it. Hunter, a 78% free thrower, gets them both. Birds up 18. Indiana State with the ball. Devontae Brown had it stolen. Harris Lee took his ball, and Hunter at the other end gets fouled again on his way to the basket. Dewan Cummings got him this time, and back to the free throw line goes Bobby Hunter. How about Harris Lee, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. He has really, really quick hands. He takes your ball, and you don't even know it until he's flying the other I mean, way. You, pump, you kind of air dribble about three times before you know it's gone. Hunter misses that free throw. One more for Bobby. A chance to build the lead back to 19 points as we are two minutes into the second half of play. Another one for the junior from Reno, Nevada. Missed that one, too. The rebound, Christian Smith for Indiana State. Dewan Cummings the other way. Here's Smith angling toward the goal now. Puts it back out. Brown to Smith, whose three is not good. The rebound kept alive by Lynch. That allows uh, Paris Lee to get it. Lee to the goal. The layup blocked. And the rebound off the block for Indiana State. Good play by Devontae Brown on the block. Here's Cummings for three at the other end. Missed it short. Rebound Kitchell. Bobbled it. And as he fumbles it, he gets it back out. And as he was trying to get it out, he was fouled. On Deshaun Knight, first against the Redbirds. It'll be inbounded by Indiana State. Knight picks up his first foul of the game. Here's Christian Smith getting the ball in the corner. Delivers it out to Brown. Cummings right wing. Devontae Brown left wing. And now back to Cummings. To the goal. Runs into Reggie and rims it up there. No good. A foul has been called, I think, against... Not Lynch, but Paris Lee trying to help from the side. And it was on the shot. It'll put Cummings at the line. First on Lee, second on the team in the half. And Dewan Cummings, the native of Kansas City, played at Coffeyville Junior College in Kansas before he came to Indiana State, makes the free throw. He's a 77 percenter. Redbird lead is 17. It was 16 at the half. Another one for Cummings, good. So once again, a 16-point difference. As the Redbirds put it in play. Still the starting five on the floor for Dan Muller's team. Terrace Lee to the right wing. Deshaun Knight moves to the left. Down the lane, a runner, no. And on the rebound effort, a foul on, in, on the Birds. On Reggie Lynch, there's his first. Dan Muller and several others here wondering about that call. So the Sycamores get it on the turnover against the Redbirds. Dewan Cummings into the front court. Drifts to the left. Now drives to the goal and a runner no. And the rebound, Deshaun Knight plucked it out of there. Deshaun comes the other way. Knight at the free throw line to the goal. A whistle and a foul, Jake Kitchell. Appeared to have that one pretty cleanly, and I think he's been called for the foul, and now for a technical, as he expressed his discontent with the call by Tom O'Neill. I'll tell you what, this particular official must have had a bad meal or something this afternoon. He's not in a very good mood, either that or he didn't sleep very well last night. And Greg Lansing wants to know, I think, what Jay Kitchell said to merit the tee. So O'Neill comes over to Lansing and talks to him about it. Personal foul will be shot first. They are shot in the order they happen. So this will be two shots for Deshaun Knight. And then Dan Muller can choose anybody he wants. He may choose to just keep Deshaun at the line. Although Zeisloft would be another possibility. Knight's free throw up and good. I'd like to pan down how Deshaun does here with these two. He's you made think the Deshaun's first. your guy? If he makes them both, yeah, I just keep him there. Okay. If he doesn't, I put Nick there. Second one, good. And Muller says, I'm listening to Ledke. Those were the technicals. Shot oh, the technicals right. first. They used to shoot those in the order they happened. But that's changed, I guess. So Knight shot the technicals good. Now Deshaun has to shoot these. <laughs> well, that's right. You don't shoot them. Here's why you don't shoot them in the order they happened. As Knight makes the free throw because this second free throw 
is a free ball. If he misses it, you've got to give you a, you got to give him an opportunity for a rebound. Can't be a dead ball rebound. That's why. As Knight's free throw is good, he made all four of them. Didn't matter in which order he shot them. Indiana State puts it in play. Now down by 20 after four straight from the line by Deshaun. Yeah, I think Deshaun, 33. I think Deshaun was bailing you out, Dick. To the wing it goes to Brown. In the corner, Cummings up top to Brown. Arop on the left side. Dribbles between a couple of defenders and a whistle and a foul against Indiana State. Yeah, they got Moore with an illegal screen. Demetrius Moore had just checked into the game. He was moving on the screen. They cough it up on a turnover, and the Redbirds with some points on this possession can get their biggest lead of the game. They're up 53-33 on the Valley's number two team. Across the timeline comes Paris Lee. Lee moves to the right. Up top, Nick Zeisloft. Right wing it goes. With it is Knight. 17 to shoot. Deshaun hands it off to Lee. Paris moves toward the left. Picks up his dribble out to Nick. Shot fake, spins, gets it to Knight as he does. The whistle and three seconds is the call against Illinois State. Reggie Lynch, I believe, as now we get to an official's timeout. 15-53 left to play in the game. The very slim at-large hopes that Indiana State carried into this game would become even slimmer if they're not able to come from way behind here in the second half against the Redbirds. Birds on top, 53-33 with just under 16 to play as we're back after this on the WJBC Country Financial Illinois State Radio Network. Well, we're all day to day, but <laughs> it doesn't mean we can't count on making it through many, many, many days. <laughs> I like your chances, too, actually. Well, thank you. That makes me feel better about you the night and the way the day's gone. <laughs> it should. Indiana State has put it in play. Down low, baseline jumper. Odom is good. Sycamores ran a nice play there and got Jake Odom, their top guy. About a six-footer from the right baseline. Lead down to 18, 53-35. Birds in the front court. Here's Lynch up top. Lee moves toward the left. Back to the right side. Hunter underneath the basket. Kicks it out to Nick for three. And that might have been partially blocked. Didn't make it to the rim. Knocked out of bounds by Indiana State. Still belongs to the Redbirds. Well, Reggie Lynch was kind of standing there on the weak side, minding his own business. He didn't dream that Zeisloff's shot would come up so short and hit him right in the grippers. And Did it get tipped? Or did Nick get hit on the arm? Yeah. I think maybe neither. I think he maybe just shot just, an air ball. Ooh, man. That was ugly if so. Now they have not... Yeah, the officials are going to the scorer's table. They reset the shot clock. Not sure they should have done that. Nope, not if it didn't draw iron. <laughs> and it barely drew net. Well, and not if Indiana State didn't get a possession. The Sycamores had their hands on the ball and bobbled it out of bounds. But I don't think they're going to be able to say that was a possession. <laughs> but that is not true. <laughs> Lofton has checked in for Illinois State. He has the ball driving, got his shot blocked, but he was fouled by Manny Arop. And so Lofton will go to the line, fouled in the act of shooting. He was in the game by five seconds and has a chance to add to his point total, which is presently at 11. First free throws of the game coming up for Lofton. The junior out of St. Paul, Minnesota, 78 percenter, missed that one off the front of the rim. Didn't even get it to the cylinder. Yeah, barely drew iron. Another one for Lofton. She tries to elevate the Illinois State advantage back to 19. Fires it up there, and he missed it again. And the rebound, a -Rob. And the outlet to Odom. Still an 18-point. Tried to elevate it to 19. Still an 18-point lead for the Birds. Indiana State with the ball. a -Rob. Looks for a teammate. Finds Odom. 15 minutes now to play here at Redbird Arena. Brown on the left wing. Pedals it to Smith. Up top, shot fake Odom, driving and a whistle. Contact and a foul on Zach Lofton. Boy, Odom has the ability to draw contact and make it look like there's a lot more contact than a lot of times there are. But boy, he is very crafty when he goes down the lane. That's why he gets there 6.7 times per game, even though he is a perimeter player, as he'll shoot two here. You know, it's amazing he is as good offensively as he is because he's really not a good shooter. Right. But boy, he is great at assisting and taking the ball to the goal. 30% from three and a little over 40% from the field overall. Those are not great numbers. 
But yeah, a big part of his offensive game is his free throw shooting, and then he does everything else. He passes yeah. it well, he rebounds very well, especially considering he's a point guard. Well, as they say, Dick, he always makes everybody around him much better, and that's the sign of a good point guard, whether it's Fred Van Vliet or whether it's Jake Odom or whether it's Paris Lee. When he gets to the line, he makes his free throws. He made both of those, and the lead is down to 16. Here's Paris Lee with it now for the birds in the front court. Out to Zeisloff, right wing Lofton. Zach gets around his man. The help is there. A runner is an air ball. Zach didn't know what he wanted to do with that. Christian Smith rebounded that miss. Here's Indiana State in the front court. Arop up top. Odom with it now. Odom picks it up, finds Arop inside, and he's bumped a little bit, and he stumbles, and he's called for a travel. And Arop says, hey, if I hadn't been bumped, I wouldn't have traveled. Yeah, that's not the reason. He turned around and saw 22 standing there in that mask and said, uh-oh. I'm not going to put it up. I'm going to try to reverse it. And that's when he got called for the travel. Turnover, Indiana State. Birds in the front court. Still up by 16. It's been a while since we scored. It has been. Especially in the context of this game. Lee moving to the left. Birds have scored pretty freely thus far. As we have a whistle and an Indiana State foul away from the ball. Yep, I think they got more again. Demetrius Moore picks it up. That's the seventh on the Sycamores already, just six minutes into the half. So the birds get to the line. Man, we've missed, I think, four or five free throws in a row also. Well, Hunter missed a couple. And yeah, is that before the four uh, by Deshaun? I think it was after. So that would be four in a row as Lynch stops the string. The sharpshooting free thrower Reggie Lynch puts one down and it's 54 to 37 birds the masked man <laughs> as that free throw is good yeah those who watched reggie shoot free throws earlier in the season would be saying who is that masked oh. man and you told me he was a 75 percent free throw shooter in high school he told you that he did yeah i didn't tell you that he didn't no Cummings, baseline drive, whips the pass out for Odom's three, which is not good, and the rebound goes out of bounds. It belongs to the Redbirds, who lead now after those free throws by the masked man, 55 to 37. Knight back in, Lee is out for the Birds. Zeisloff sits down, and Tony Wills re enters. So now it's Hunter and Knight with Lofton, Lynch, and Wills. You know, we've made some free throws, but when was our last field goal? It's been a little while. It has been. Deshaun Knight on the right wing to Lofton. Here's Wills, Bobby Hunter with it. Hunter picks up his dribble. Tony Wills spins and crashes into his man and travels. That's a good call. Tony didn't quite know what he was doing there. Good defense by DeWan Cummings. Yeah, and Illinois State's really slowed down offensively in the second half, but credit goes to Indiana State. They're playing their man-to-man, -man, and that's what they're known for. And they're doing a much, much better job through the first seven minutes here of the second half. But the Birds are doing an equally fine job on their defensive end, and as a result, they've actually built the lead a little bit so far here in the second half. It's 18 now. It was 16. Here's a knockaway from Demetrius Moore out of bounds off of Indiana State. Tom O'Neill had a good look at that one, as did we. It happened right in front of us off of Christian Smith, and the ball belongs to the Birds. Yeah, great hustle play by Tony Wills, too. I think Indiana State may have had a chance to save it, but Tony Wills laid out and got a hand on a great hustle play by Tony. So with 13 minutes now to play and the Birds up 18 points, Illinois State is into the front court. Bobby Hunter with the ball. Moves to the right. Now to the goal. Layup. Yes! Hunter takes it all the way. Reggie screened off the help defender and that was an easy one for Bobby Hunter. And now a knockaway. Lofton knocked it out of play. It still belongs to Indiana State as the Birds have equaled their biggest lead of 20 points. Gant back in for Indiana State. Moore sits down. Reggie Lynch goes to the bench. Jamal Samuel in for the Birds. Cummings will put it in play. Frustrating night for the Sycamores. We've done very well on the road this year, but so far tonight not doing so well away from Terre Haute. Dewan Cummings to Brown. Penetrates the arc. Now gets it back to Gant in the corner. Odom a shot fake and a foul. will put Odom at the line. Somebody grabbed his arm. Wills and Lofton both there. And it's Tony called for the infraction. Second on him. Fifth on the team. Not on the shot. So it will not be free throws. Odom inbounds it. 
And lobs it into traffic. Gant leaps and makes the catch. Here's Cummings into Odom. 13-foot shot off the pass. Not good. The tip, no. Scramble for the loose ball. Tony Wills gets it. And the Redbirds come the other way. Lofton across the timeline. Lofton moves toward the right. To the goal. Tough shot. Missed it short. Wills there for the rebound. Goes up and misses but gets fouled. Lofton forced that one and fading away from the bucket on the baseline threw up a prayer that barely got to the front of the rim. Will's there to rescue it and Tony winds up at the line. Well, the magic is momentarily gone yeah. from Zach's game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I'm glad I don't have to coach him, but he is sure fun to watch. <laughs> Will's the lefty at the line. For a couple, fouled in the act, pushes the first one through. I would have loved to have heard that conversation over there between Coach Moeller and Zach Lofton. Zach was doing a lot of listening. <laughs> well, I think Zach does. He's prone to something that's probably prone to a lot of us. If, if it starts easy, if it comes easy, we think it's going to stay that way. Yeah. As Wills misses the second free throw. I think for most of his career, basketball has come very easy to Zach. Yeah, right. Tony made one of two. Birds have their biggest lead of 21 with just under 12 minutes to play. Here's Burnett in the game as he drives the baseline. A whistle and a foul, I think, before the shot. That's on Wills again. Third on Tony as we get now to an official's timeout. 11 fits it for the Sycamores. Up top to Dewan Cummings. High post, Gant. Turns, backs in against Reggie, fires, and gets it. Is that the start of the Indiana State comeback that Mike's talking about? 58-39 50, now. Well, huge leads melt very quickly, Dick, as we've seen go both ways this year with a three-point bucket. Here's Lee working his way toward the goal. Now gives up the dribble and the ball as it comes out to Lofton. Inside to Lynch. Lynch against Gant. Fires it up there, but traveled before he did it. Yeah. Another Reg walk against the Birds. Reggie's better just to make his move nice and quick when he starts finessing it and trying to put it on the floor. Bad things happen. He needs to catch and score or catch and kick. Here's Odom into the front court for the Sycamores. Moves to the right, picks up his dribble, finds Cummings. Here's a three. It's not good. High rebound. Reggie Lynch up there to snare it. And that's seven. Caroms for... Mr. Lynch so far this evening. Knight now on the right side. Deshaun hands it off to Lee, coming toward the left. Kicks it back to the right to Deshaun Knight. Knight gets a step on Odom. Puts it outside. Lee's three is a little strong. And the rebound to Juan Cummings. Yeah, Paris needed to make one more pass. Odom with it from the left wing. Spins by Wills. Lay up. No. But he gets it back. Odom does. And now finds Gant. But it's a loose ball. And Lynch rescues it. I think it was Wills who pried that one free. Certainly was. Knight on the right wing. Great play by Tony, who's out there with three fouls. Back to Zach. His three. That's not good, but he got bumped and fouled by Odom in three-point territory. And Lofton will shoot him up from the line. I don't think he's had a three-shot free throw attempt this year yet. How many do you think he'll one. knock in? I'd say two. I think he makes all three. That'd be nice. If he does, it'll be the Redbirds' biggest lead of the night. Number 23, Zach. Lofton is a good free thrower, although he's slumped a little bit lately. 78% for the season. There's a make. And it's a 20-point Redbird lead, 59-39. Lofton's first second-half point. There's his second one. Going for the trifecta. Zeisloff checks back in. Wills goes to the bench for the Redbirds. Manny Arop in, and Odom sits down for Indiana State after picking up that foul, which is his third. Oh, his fourth, excuse me. That's why he's out. Lofton does complete the trifecta, and the Redbird lead is 22, the biggest of the night. Kaysa Keen, who played well in the first half, back in now for Illinois State. Out goes Bobby Hunter. Sycamore is in the front court. Cummings with it. Whips it to the corner. Brandon Burnett to Gant at the high post. Goes to the goal with a dribble. Misses the short-range jumper. And the rebound, Deshaun Knight. But a six-footer that time missed by Gant. Birds have the ball up 22. Gant shoots those like he's going to have them served back at him. Not a lot of confidence in that stroke. Well, he's playing against Reggie Lynch. Here's Zeisloff. The runner is rolling. Not good for Nick from 14 feet. The rebound, Indiana State. Sycamore's in the front court. Cummings with it. 
to Gant, who tries a three, and he misses it. And the rebound, Deshaun Knight. Knight comes the other way. At the top, finds Zeisloff. Back to Deshaun up top, who fires and misses off the back iron. Reggie got away with the push, but couldn't get the rebound anyway. Indiana State with it. Dewan Cummings, right of the lane. Kicks it back out. Manny Arop's three is good. And the lead is back down to 19, 61 to 42. And Arop breathes a sigh of relief. He's now one of five behind the arc. Two of eight overall. The Sycamores as a team are two for 14 from three after going 11 for 21 in Terre Haute against this Redbird defense. Here's a shot by Knight off the pass from Lee. Missed it from 17. The rebound, Lucas Idle gets it to Dewan Cummings. Cummings, right of the lane drive and a knock away, but a foul is called by Kelly Self against the Birds. Self, after making the call, goes right to Greg Lansing and starts explaining something, but the call... He is against Illinois State. Deshaun Knight committed the foul. Well, Illinois State's got to go back to their offense, Dick, driving the ball to the goal and getting some good looks. Don't need to fall in love with the three. Against Knight, that's number two. Indiana State in the bonus. Cummings has a little blood on his elbow or his wrist, and he's getting that taken care of over in front of the Indiana State bench. Meanwhile, Christian Smith will be the guy to shoot the free throws. Smith, 68 percenter. Oh, I'm sorry, Dewan Cummings is the one at the line. 77 percenter. He gets a one and one. Nine minutes now left to play. As the throw is good. So the Sycamores have scored four straight. And they've cut the 22-point lead to 18. Another one for Cummings. Bends the knees and shoots it no good. And the rebound, Kaysa Keen snares it from the third slot. 61-43, Birds by 18 with the ball. Paris Lee in the front court. Lee with Keen and Knight. Lynch and Zeisloft. Lee looks into Lynch, can't get it there. A weak pass finds its way to Keen. Keen hands it off to Deshaun. Knight at the top. Spins it to Keen, who attacks but travels. Didn't get the ball down on the floor soon enough as he tried to attack from the left wing. Another turnover against the Redbirds. Yep, the offense is kind of sputtering right now, and I don't know where the scoring is going to come from, but we need to get all inside and maybe throw it into Reggie a couple times. Cummings on the right wing for the Sycamores. Picks up his dribble. Christian Smith down toward the baseline. Here's Manny Arop. Arop back up top. Smith around the horn. It goes from the corner. Idle's three is good. Lucas Idle with his first basket of the game. And the Redbird lead down to 15. 8 15 to play. And Dan Muller calls a timeout. 8 15 left. And the one time 22 point Redbird lead. Let's go back to execution. Let's get some good looks. Redbirds have made only three field goals in 12 attempts. They've made their living at the line. 17 free throw attempts in the second half. They've made 12 of those. They've yeah, done a great job at the line. Yeah, what's broken down is there's too much one-on-one, -on -one and we only have one assist in the second half. We need to start sharing the ball a little bit better. Hunter threw it too low for Lynch, who dives to try to rescue it, but wound up on the end line, and the Birds turn it over and give it right back to Indiana State as the Sycamores try to crawl back in it. Jake Kitchell in for them during the timeout. Redbirds right now have Hunter, Lee, Knight, Zeisloft, and Lynch, the starting five on the floor. Cummings up top for Indiana State against the zone. Cummings to the right wing. Idle gets it. And couldn't get his three away. Deshaun Knight or uh, Paris Lee covered him up nicely. Now Cummings open for three. Gets it. And they're back to within a dozen. That's as close as they've been in this half. 61 to 49, Illinois State with the lead. Yeah, Bobby Hunter guilty that time. He went under the screen and left Cummings a wide open look. And he's way too good a shooter to do that. Paris Lee to Nick Zeisloft on the left side. Now it goes to Deshaun Knight to the goal. Drew the foul. Tried to get to the rim to lay it up. Couldn't do it, but he was fouled and will go to the line as now we get to an official's timeout. 61-49, Illinois State on top, 7, either at 2.30 on Friday afternoon or at 8.30 on Friday evening against one of those other three teams. Meanwhile, Deshaun Knight at the line as the Birds 
look to expand the 12-point lead. The last field goal for the Redbirds came with just under 13 minutes to play. Now seven and a half to play as Knight gets the free throw. My goodness. Bounced <laughs> on the insides of the rim, came up and hit the glass, and then came back, hit the rim again, and came through. 62-49. And another one for Deshaun, and it's right through the middle. So a couple of big points there. Birds lead it by 14. Indiana State moves it the other way against full court pressure. Across the timeline, Dewan Cummings jump pass to Arop up top. Arop picks it up and goes to the wing. Christian Smith up top. Arop fakes the three and a whistle and a foul against the Birds. Reaching in, trying to make the steal. Bobby Hunter, third on Bobby. And to the line, Manny Arop with 7-12 left. Arop, good free thrower, 82% or Indiana State, 73% as a team as the throw is good. 13 points the difference at 63 to 50. Redbird Hoops brought to you in part by Jim Ginsky, attorney at law. For all your legal needs, go to jimginsky.com. Another one, good. Sycamores have shot the free throw well here in the second half. They are 11 for 13 in the second half from the line. The Redbird lead back down to a dozen. Harris Lee with the ball. Drifts toward the right. Sends it up to Nick Seisloft. Nick deals it back to Paris Lee. Lee moves to the baseline. He's cut off. Back to Nick. Up top, Bobby Hunter. Hunter attacks. Kicks it out to Lee, or to Knight. Inside shot. Yes! Tough shot by Deshaun Knight. In traffic. 65-51 birds. The other way goes Indiana State. Reverse layup. No, but Christian Smith is fouled on the play, and he'll go to the line. Woo, I think he got a break there. Yep, I agree. He was out of control. Took enough of a bump, they say, to merit the call, and he gets free throws. Well, the shot was so ugly, it looked like there was contact, but I'm not so sure there was any contact. Is it Reggie who was called for that? As the free throw by Smith, not good. He misses it. That helps the Redbird cause. Smith, a 68 percenter. They say the ball knows, Dick. <laughs> Maybe. Do you believe that? No. No, actually, I don't. <laughs> Another one good. Smith got the second one. Idle out. Devontae Brown back in for Indiana State. Boy, it's been a while since we've seen Odom. I think that foul was on Reggie. It's only his second, though. Yeah, that's true. They've been doing well without him. As Paris Lee is across the timeline. I just don't think he's 100%. Yeah, that's probably the story. But still, they're doing well without him. Lynch to Zeisloft. Left wing Lee. Hunter with the ball. Moves toward the right. Finds Deshaun. Baseline drive. Reverse layup. He missed that one. The tip. Reggie. No, he gets it back. Tries again. Scores! Reggie Lynch with the rebound basket. 67-52. Birds by 15. And now a reach-in foul on, I believe, Paris Lee. And that'll put Indiana State back at the line. They're in the double bonus now, so they'll get two. I believe that was 100% basketball that Mr. Lee took away. I don't know. I think he might have gotten a bit of the arm. As Cummings is the one at the line. Didn't get much of it. But I think he got something. Cummings' throw is good. Boy, I'd like to see us get a couple of stops and keep them off the free throw line. 77%er is Cummings. Yeah, points with the clock stopped or the leading team's worst enemy. Down to 6.03 to go in the game. He missed the second one, so they've missed two of their last four free throws. And now with six minutes to go, the lead is 14 for the Birds, and they have the ball. Here's Lee to Zeisloft. Nick to Reggie Lynch, who just scored a big bucket. The Birds have gone about six minutes without a field goal, and then Knight that layup and Reggie the putback, and now a foul against Indiana State will put the Birds at the line, and lots of free throws here down the stretch as Odom has checked back to the scorer's table. Jamal Samuel also checking into the game for the Birds. It's Bobby Hunter this time at the line. Bobby two for four tonight from the stripe as his throw is good. Reggie Lynch 
now with 16 points. That's a career high. Eight rebounds. That's a career high. And five blocks. Also a high for Reggie. As Hunter's second free throw is also good. 69 to 53. A 16 point advantage for the Birds. I wonder if he's closing in on a career high for minutes played in a game. Maybe. He hasn't had the foul trouble that has been so frequent for him. 29 at Evansville was his high. Indiana State has moved it into the front court. Reggie out of the game right now, getting some rest. Here's Odom, bobbled the ball, but got it back. In the corner it goes. Manny Arup up top to Dewan Cummings. High post, Odom turns, fires it further inside. Shot by Christian Smith, no. Rebound comes out. Zach Lofton, who just checked into the game, tracks it down. And the Redbirds up 16 with the ball. And things looking better now with five and a half minutes to play. Harris Lee moves it to the left side. Zach Lofton. <laughs> Lofton holds it a while. And now finds Paris Lee. Birds in no hurry here. They have a 16-point advantage, and we're down to five minutes left. Nine on the shot clock. Lee pedals it to Lofton, who fires, gets fouled as he makes the basket. Question is, was he in three-point territory? I don't think so. Arop got him. They give him a two, and Lofton will try for the three-point play. 71-53, Birds. Lofton now with 16. He and Reggie with scoring honors, high scoring honors right now. Lofton had a chance to take the lead, but he missed the free throw. Indiana State rebounds it. Here's Smith to Arop. Right side for Odom. Arop a three. It's not good. And the rebound, Zach Lofton. And the Redbirds in great shape. 18 points is the lead. Four and a half minutes to play. Here's Lee in the front court. Birds closing in on their 16th win of the season. Bobby Hunter with the ball. Hunter moves it to Lee. 10 to shoot now. Paris against Lucas Idle. Drives toward the goal. Spins. Shoots it. Got it partially blocked. It rimmed off. Not good. Rebound Idle for Indiana State. Odom in the front court. Galloping down the floor and drawing the foul as he missed the shot. He'll go to the line for two. You know, it's almost automatic. And I guess you've earned that after three and a half, three and three quarter great years that he's had in this league. But well, I would love it if officials were blind to uh, the identities of the players. They should call it the same way for Odom as they do for any other player. Call it the same way for a Redbird superstar as well. I agree. But, you know, you wonder if it's almost subconscious. Yeah, maybe. He's good, and uh, I know he's good. And, yep. But uh, as Odom, by the way, missed the first free throw, makes the second. But a good official, I think, blocks out who has the ball. Who cares? In the official, If you're the official, why do you care who has the ball? Which player has it? Whether it's Paris Lee or Bobby Hunter. I agree, Dick. I agree 100%. That's, that, that shouldn't influence your call. But, it, you know, it seems to at any level you watch, whether I, it's I, grade school yeah, or I professional. Think it does. And I think it does. It's, I, I guess it's hard to do that, to block out who has the ball. Yeah. Birds with a nice lead of 17 and the ball. Three and a half to play as Knight has it with five to shoot. Driving inside, idle guarding him and the whistle. <laughs> and foul was called. The question is, are they going to give Deshaun the basket? They do. A nice continuation call. Knight gets the basket. 73-54. The foul is called. We get to an official's timeout. 335 left in this one. And the Redbirds up 73-54 here at Redbird Arena. Back with more at play. Really an incredible three-point play. He oh. just hung in the air for it seemed like an eternity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how long was it between the time the whistle blew and the time Deshaun well, made the he shot? He went in the air at 3:38, and the foul was called at 3:35. Three so. full seconds. Yeah, he was in the air three seconds. Knight misses the free throw. Birds have missed quite a few free throws this evening, but looks like it's not going to cost them as they still lead it by 19. Devonte Brown in the game for Indiana State finds Lucas Idle. Jake Odom is out of the game. In for the first time for Indiana State, T.J. Bell. He's the last guy on the bench for Greg Lansing's team. Here's the pass to uh, Burnett, and he scores the easy layup. Redbirds went to sleep there. Excuse me, Demetrius Moore, the one who scores that bucket. 73-56. The Redbird advantage is 17. 
Chase Akeen and Tony Wills about to check in for Dan Muller's team. And the Birds will dribble the shot clock down here with the big lead. Indiana State, I thought their last couple games, I've watched a couple of them, and tonight they seem to be a little bit weary, leg weary. Yeah. They're going to have to get that back before they head to St. Louis because they're a very good basketball team. Here's Deshaun Knight with it at the right wing. Comes up to the top. Zach a three, and it's short. And the rebound, Demetrius Moore. Still two and a half to play. Sycamore is into the front court. Brown gets it off to Idle, who nearly loses it. Manages to get rid of it. Pass to Burnett in the corner. He fires a three. It's good. Brandon Burnett scores the three. It's only his seventh three of the season. Seventh made three. And the lead down to 14. 73 to 59. Still 2.04 to go. Bobby Hunter in the front court for the Redbirds. As the Sycamores have rung up five here in a hurry. Zach Lofton on the right wing. Pedals it out to Deshaun Knight. And again, the Redbirds will run the shot clock down, which will allow them to get it down to a little more than a minute and a half to play. Here's Knight, left of the lane drive, bumps with Idle, shoots it up, rims it good, <laughs> count it, and a foul is called. Another opportunity for a three-point play by Deshaun Knight, and again, the foul is on Lucas Idle. You know, that not only takes great athleticism, Dick, it takes a lot of strength. Because he just hung, hung in the air again and took the body contact and somehow had the strength to put it up on the glass. 75-59, Birds by 16, and now Matt Stacio, the last guy on the bench for the Redbirds, is into the game. And that's what draws a big reaction from the folks here. Tony Wills also checks in, and uh, Keza Keen will get in if Deshaun makes this free throw. As he throws it up and gets it, that'll get him out of the game. 76 to 59. Redbirds with the lead with 138 left. It's Keen, Stacio, Wills, Lofton, and Jamal Samuel on the floor for the Birds. 20 points for Knight, eight boards. Another nice game for Deshaun. Inside it goes, and Moore had it knocked away by Samuel, picked off by Stacio, ahead to Keza for the layup, and he's fouled by Lucas Idle. Intentional foul is called. I don't know about that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he just threw his arms around him and gave him a bear hug. You agree with the call? Absolutely, 100%. There was no... He was, he was between him and the basket, and he did have his hand on the ball. He also put his arm around him. I don't know. I mean, if they'd been dancing with the stars, maybe not. But I, I do think it was a foul. And I think it was an intentional foul. Keen, well, of course, just because it's an intentional foul doesn't mean they call the intentional foul. No, the, good, the good officials do. Keza, no, they don't. Keza <laughs> makes the first free throw, misses the second. Now the birds get the possession with 119 to go. 77-59, the birds by 18. As Keen will put it in. Birds get the possession because of the intentional foul call. Lofton up on top. You know they're going to run something for number 31. That's Matt Stacio, the sophomore out of Naperville, Illinois. Try to get him isolated one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two. See what he can do. He's calling for the ball now on the wing. Lofton holds it. Still 17 to shoot. The Jack just holding it because they're not out there contesting his possession. Now he starts the dribble. 10 to shoot. Here's Zach. Leaves it for Stacio. Stacio fakes the shot. Shovels Samuel. Gets it back and fires. And it's not good. And the rebound for Indiana State. Demetrius Moore. Into the front court is Brown. He threw it away. Picked off by Lofton difference between the clocks is one second and Dan Muller wants the Redbirds not to shoot it again although if they don't it'll be a shot clock violation but I think that's okay with coach Muller 77 to 59 the score right now Keza Keen dribbles it up top there's one second difference between the clocks here's Will Stacio fires and air balls it and the rebound, Indiana State. And that'll do it. Brandon Burnett across the timeline. He fires, partially blocked by Wills at the horn. The game is over, 77-59.
to 59. Illinois State wins it by 18 over Indiana State's Sycamores. The Birds go to 16 and 13 overall. They are now 9 and 8 in the Missouri Valley Conference. Indiana State drops to 21 and 8 overall and 12 and 5 in the Missouri Valley. Again, the final 77 for the Redbirds and 59 for Indiana State. We're back with more after this on the WJBC Country Financial Illinois State Radio Network.